Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 373, find k pairs with smallest sums. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given two input arrays, num1 and num2. So in this problem, we need to find all possible pairs using num1 and num2. So for example, if I pick the element 1 in num1, so with 1, I can form 1 and 2, right? 1 and 2 and 1 and 4 that is a possible pair then using 1 and 6 right so these are three possible pairs that i can form using 1 then we need to pick the next element from num1 so we need to pick 7 and we can form another three pairs 7 2 7 4 and 7 6 and so on so the first element will be from the num1 and the second elements will be from the num2 right so we need to find all possible pairs like this and we need to sum them. Then we need to find which pair gave me the smallest sum. So for example, if I sum this pair, I'm going to get 3. And if I sum this pair, I'm going to get 5. And if I sum this, I'm going to get 7. So for this example, these three are my smallest pairs, right? So we need to return the k smallest pairs. So in this case, we need to return these three because these three will give me the smallest sum, right? If I sum all other pairs, it's going to be greater than these three pairs. So we need to return three smallest pairs. That is the k smallest pairs. So to solve this problem, I'm going to use heap, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. Also, the problem statement says that the two input arrays are sorted right they are sorted in ascending order so it is guaranteed that the first pair is always going to be the smallest pair so initially i'm going to sum these two values that is the first element from my both the arrays so one plus two here it is three and i'm going to append their indices as well right so the first zero represents indices from the first array and the second zero represents the indices from the second array right so here the zeroth index value is one so plus so the second zero from num2 that is two so adding these two we are going to get three right then we are going to append these two indices in my visited list right that is we have formed this pair then we are going to write a loop and i will run the loop until my k is not empty and my heap is not empty so here k exists and in heap we have the initial pair right so now we need to pop the smallest pair from my heap so here we have only one pair so we pop this one so we don't need the value here we just need the indices so in this example i'm just showing the indices right so here i represents the first index and j represents the second index right then we need to append this pair in my result that is ith index value that is 1 and jth index value that is 2. So this is the first smallest pair, right? So then we need to check whether i plus 1 exists in my nums1 array or not. Yes, we have an element in the i plus 1 index, so it is valid, right? Then we need to check whether i plus 1 index, so i plus 1 is 1, and the jth index that is 0 exist in my visited list or not so in this case it is not present so this is also valid so we are going to sum these two values so the first index value that is 7 and zeroth index from my nums2 array that is 2 so if i sum them we are going to get 9 so i will append the indices of the two values that is 7 and 2 then I will append this indices in my visited list as well. Similarly, we need to check for the ith index and j plus 1 index exist in my visited list or not. In this case, it is not present. So we pick that pair. So the zeroth index in my nums1 array is 1 and first index in my nums2 array is 4. If I sum them, we are going to get 5. And indices of 1 and 4 is 0 and 1. Then we need to append these indices to my visited list. 
right after that finally we need to reduce our k as 2 so we have to pick two more pairs we have already picked one pair as my smallest pair we have to pick the next two smallest pairs so now we need to pop the smallest sum from my heap so here the smallest sum is 5 so we pick this so we just pick the indices that is 0 and 1 so now we need to append this pair to my result that is the 0th index value and the jth index value from my nums2 array that is 4 so 1 4 will be the next smallest pair so now we need to check the i plus 1 index and the jth index so the i plus 1 index is 1 and jth index is 1 whether this pair exists in my visited list or not it is not present so we pick that pair from the input array so the first index value is 7 and the first index from my num2 array is 4 if i sum them we are going to get 11 and we will append the respective indices and i will append the indices in my visited list as well then we need to pick the ith element and j plus 1 element that is 0th index and the second index so here this pair is not in my visited list so we pick that pair so the zeroth index in my nums1 array is 1 and the second index value in my nums2 array is 6 so we need to sum 1 and 6 we are going to get 7 and we will append the respective indices that is 0 and 2 and we will append the indices in my visited list as well then we need to reduce our k so k becomes 1 now we need to pick the smallest sum from my heap that is the smallest sum is 7 so we pick this one so i will be 0 and jth index will be so we pop this and we will append this pair to my result list so 0th index in my nums1 array is 1 and second index in my nums2 array is 2 so 1 and 6 is the next smallest pair so in this iteration k becomes 0 so we will exit the loop right so finally we need to return the result that is these three pairs right and there is also another case what if we can't find three pairs what if we can only find two pairs that is also fine even if you find two pairs that is fine we can return that as well but we cannot return more than k pairs right if we can't find k pairs we can return less than k right but more than k is not possible that's how the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially we are going to initialize the result list then we are going to check whether if my nums1 nums2 or k exist if either one is not exist we have to return the empty list right then we are going to create a heap list and visited set after that we will be appending the first pair that is the first smallest pair that is the first two elements from the input arrays we are adding the sum and the respective indices that is 0 and 0 and we will append these indices in my visited set as well then we will be writing a while loop and we will run the while loop until k and heap exist when this is true we pop the smallest sum and we will pick the indices as i and j and we will append that pair to the result list then we need to check whether i plus 1 exists in my nums1 array if this is true then we need to check whether i plus 1 and jth indices exist in my visited set if it is not present in the visited set we have to sum those values and we will take the respective indices we will push that to the heap list then we will be adding the indices to the visited set as well so similarly we need to check whether j plus 1 exists in my nums2 array or not if this is true we are, then we need to check whether i and j plus 1 index is in my visited set or not if it is not present we will add these two values and we will take the respective indices that is i and j plus 1 and we will push that to the heap then we will be appending that to the visited set as well then we need to reduce our k after taking the k pairs we have to return the result right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.